In this video, we're going to talk about an advanced option of the lookup and fill in action in Action JavaScript when used in a repeating section in a dialog component. So you can see here that I've got a simple dialog with a repeating section and I've defined a lookup and fill in action uh, that fires in the on blur event of product number. So if I type in a product number and then tab into the description field, as soon as the, the uh, blur event on product number occurs, we do the AJAX callback and we do the lookup and then we fill in description. And that works just fine if, uh, uh, if you uh, build the action using the uh, Genie. But the problem arises when you uh, type a value in this field over here and then instead of t uh, tabbing into another field on the same row, you tab into another field on a different row. And in this case, um, the callback fails because by the time the callback happens, uh, the dialog component thinks that the active row now is row 3 and not row 2. So you need to actually tell the callback to explicitly use um, row number 2 and not whatever it thinks the current active row is. So uh, here's how we do that. Let's go back to design mode and go to the... Um, uh, action JavaScript here, which is the on blur event, which is doing our lookup and fill in. Basically, it's looking up in the product table on product ID and filling in description. And what we're going to do is we're going to convert this into uh, text mode. So now we've basically got uh, JavaScript that we can edit. So here's the JavaScript, and then there's the um, uh, X basic function that accompanies this uh, JavaScript. But let's go back now to um, to our uh, function over here. And the first thing that I'm going to do uh, just to um, explain the approach here is I'm going to do an alert of this.id. So now when I go uh, back to working preview, let's give focus to say this row and now click in uh, the next row. So we can see here that this.id uh, ends with underbar a5 instance 3 because that's uh, I was on row 3 so we want to basically pass out the value 3 from this dot ID and we can do that using the JavaScript uh, split function so let's go back now to the builder and what we're going to do here is we're going to say uh, var inst num equals uh, this dot ID dot split and we're going to split on um, A5 instance and then that's going to create an array um, and we want the uh, second value in the array uh, so this is the value to the right of A5 instance so since the arrays in JavaScript are zero based that's actually going to be a one that we want over there now let's just alert inst num and uh, get rid of that one over there so now when we go to uh, working preview and we click in row 3 and now we click in row 4 we can see it says row 3 so now we basically have uh, a variable that tells us ex explicitly what row we were on uh, when the blur event occurred and now we'd like to pass that information back in the Ajax callback so let's go back now and edit our action and uh, the AJAX callback method allows you to pass back any additional explicit data that you want and that's done in um, the um, last parameter of the callback and what we'd like to do is pass back this information over here so we're going to pass back an explicit variable here called underbar repeating section active row and we're going to set it equal to instnum so we can get rid of our alert over there now and now let's go ahead and uh, save this go over to working preview I'll type in uh, say 5 over there and I'll click in the next row and now you can see it's working because we told the uh, action explicitly what active uh, what active row to to use uh, in the uh, repeating section thanks very much for watching